What is up guys, it's Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we're gonna be having a look at this lovely section right here. It's the Tax Block Pro. We already brought out a similar one, but with this one you have a lot more customization options and you can tweak the section to your liking. So as you can see here, it's all the same section and with a little bit of customization magic you can make it either look like this, this or this. What I'm gonna be doing in this video is making it look like this. I'm gonna use it for this Blue Guard store right here, it's a screen protection phone company I own and we're gonna just implement it right there. Alright, first thing we wanna be doing is heading on over to the Shopify App Store where we wanna be downloading the app we will be using for this tutorial. It's called Section Store, it's a component library which is full with over 100 fully customizable components, Shopify exclusive and the app itself is completely free. And then we're gonna head to the Shopify admin area where we wanna be opening up section store in the left bottom corner. Click on explore sections. And then you can either find the section here in the search bar or you just click on it right here. It's one of our new ones. Like I said already, the app is completely free, but this is one of our premium sections. So you can buy the section for a little fee of $9 which means if you bought it once, you're gonna own it forever. You don't need a developer, you don't need to code yourself. So I think at the end of the day, it's a pretty good deal and you're gonna save yourself a lot of time. I've already got the section, so I can head back to the home area. Last thing I have to do is actually add it to my theme. It's the Streamline Life theme. And then I can just customize it to however I want it to look like. That's what I'm gonna be doing now. I'm just gonna get rid of that one and add a completely new one text block there we have it text block pro and it's already in there the first thing I would like to do is do some customizations to the main block itself so I'm gonna click on it I'm gonna you can either select it with an image or without one but I would really like to have one I'm gonna pick the one you saw already in the beginning of the video we're gonna give it a custom height and we're gonna make it a bit wider so it has some space to breathe. That looks good to me. And then we can do some customizations to the mobile as well. So we're gonna scroll all the way down and here we can change the height so it's gonna get bigger and the border radius is something we can change as well. Maybe we're gonna make it a bit more round so it looks more dynamic and friendly. The ratio is something we can change as well and the location on the desktop we want to have it on the left or the right side I want to have it on the right side and on the mobile you can also decide if it has to be on the top or the bottom then we can do some general padding settings right here like how much space the whole text block actually takes up and some other stuff as well the vertical padding and we have a gap as well between all the blocks maybe I'll make it a bit bigger and we can do the same on mobile as well. We can set a background, I want it to be this blue. And then we can do the border as well. But I'm happy with how it looks like right now. And now I'm gonna customize all the blocks. So the first thing I wanna be doing is actually giving them a color that they're more visible. So it's called Blue Guard. And then the title green protection and you can even pick a custom font I'm gonna leave that up to you but I'm happy with the one I have right here title is something we can change as well if it is centered on the left or the right I think you got the drill now you can basically customize everything and then I wanna go here I'm just gonna leave that lorem text right here because I'm sure you have some lovely text for your brand already and I'm just gonna change the color and the last thing we can do some customizations on is the button right here check it and I also want to change the button color change it to blue the hover is supposed to be orange and the same thing I want to be doing on that on well and now I can just hover it and you can see it's all working I'm gonna save it up and we're gonna have a look at it at the live version give this a little reload so you see it is actually working and there we have it. Looks good to me. The hover is working as well. The picture is there and it's all fully customizable. With that being said, 
I think we can wrap it up and if you like the video always feel free to leave a like and follow definitely helps us to keep up the motivation to build up new sections like that and have a good one and peace out guys.